Dozens of workers at a popular Canton restaurant quit Friday after the feds started asking questions about employment and immigration records. Management at the boathouse says they complied with immigration law, but employees were fearful. Catherine Hawley takes a closer look. For the third day in a row, walk-in patrons at the boathouse Canton were turned away. Coming to meet some friends, was going to actually uh, just get some steamed shrimp. I come here on Mondays and um, I don't know, I guess I just found out that they're not open. <laughs> Most folks just as shocked to find out the eatery was only open for private events. The sudden interruption to service started Friday night when more than 30 back of the house kitchen and support staff decided to leave their jobs. Co-owner Gene Singleton wouldn't talk to us on camera, but posted this letter to Facebook over the weekend, writing, Late Thursday, the Immigration Division of Homeland Security delivered a request requiring all employment files be turned over in order to review I-9 immigration documentation. Singleton tells us the paperwork was handed over and the boathouse is in compliance with employment and immigration law, but workers were alarmed and afraid. It speaks to the fear that a lot of people are, are undergoing right now, right? And we're talking about people that uh, are not necessarily undocumented. There are some people that um, that still live in mixed status families. ABC 2 News reached out to the Department of Homeland Security, Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Over the last year, we're told the agency carried out nearly 1,300 I-9 form inspections like the one at the boathouse to make sure businesses are following the law. Immigration advocacy groups like CASA say there's been a spike in deportation orders in the region. Explaining a simple inquiry from the government about work status is enough to make people panic and worry about themselves or loved ones. But again, it just underlines um, their efforts to try to criminalize, to try to target hardworking uh, immigrants in this community that are, that are just here to find a better life for themselves and for their families. Back at the boathouse, job interviews were underway today, and Singleton says the restaurant will be back open for regular hours Tuesday. Online, calling the situation a sad, emotional, tragic event. Catherine Hawley, ABC2 News. Now, the boathouse has created a heart of house fund to help those displaced workers and their families. Management says they will put out more details in the coming days.